What's up guys, it's Terribly Tactical here. Um, as you can probably assume from uh, the tabletop here, I'm going to be re reviewing um, a Caltech. Now as to which one that is, you probably already assume if you've watched any of my earlier videos, but this is actually going to be of the Caltech PF9. And um, let's get into it. So when you first get it, I picked this up from my FFL came in this little tiny box and I had watched reviews from like you know other people reviewing them and for some reason I thought the box was gonna be bigger even though it is such a small gun but um so anyway I picked up the box and this is what it, it came in uh, it's just your run-of-the-mill little plastic box it's not bad you know for what it is what you're paying for the uh, you know for the gun itself so you know it'll tell you it gives you the little specs you know Caltech PF9 green and black grip <clears throat> so here it is open it up for you show you how it comes you uh, pop these little tabs out here on the side and this is pretty much exactly how it comes from the factory you're gonna have your firearm um, which I'll go ahead and get this out the way yeah it, did, it doesn't come from the factory like that and uh, you know completely empty you can see in there for the safety sallies but uh, yeah so I got the uh, the OD slide and uh, obviously the black polymer grip and uh, I'm not sure if this is Cerakoted or Duracoated or something but it's something like that there's some kind of finish on it um, on top of the regular standard finish I believe that these would come in so, uh, here's a look at the gun. It's the uh, Caltech PF9. Obviously, it's a 9mm. Um, in total, it weighs 12.7 uh, ounces. I believe that's with the magazine in it, but empty. Um, it's super slim. Super slim. I believe it's .88 um of an inch and uh, that makes for really good carry concealability uh, all that good stuff plus if you're throwing it in a pack or you know your range bag or whatever you know it doesn't consume so much space so you could fit other things in there you know bullets another gun whatever it may be but uh you know it's I've had it for about a month or two now and I really can't complain. I know everybody, like I said before, either loves or hates these things. And, you know, I could see why I see a lot of positive reviews. Um, but most of the time, a lot of the positive reviews are from well-known uh, reviewers on YouTube. Such as Nut and Fancy, Such, I think Hickok45 did one. And uh, they all seem to be pretty positive reviews. And, uh, you know, I follow those guys, I watch their videos, and uh, I appreciate what they do for the community. So, you know, I checked it out, and uh, it was going to be between this or a Sky CPX2. And uh, I know Sky's a little bit more of a newer company, and uh, I don't know. I know they have a lifetime warranty, just like the Caltex do, uh, but still, you know, I, did, I wasn't sure. You know, I've heard a lot more about the Caltex, and you know, it's it's kind of in the middle. You know, you got a bunch of people that love the gun, and then you got a bunch of people that hate the gun. And uh, as of right now, I'm I'm in between, I guess you could say. Um, I don't have any problems with the gun itself. Uh, like I said before, we, uh, me and my buddy Foxtrot Two Three, we took it to a, a local range, and I shot it for the first time, put about a hundred, hundred fifty rounds through it. And we were just shooting cheap uh, steel case and aluminum ammo. And uh, it had a bobble, had a misfunction, it had a double feed actually, uh, while Foxtrot was shooting it. It worked completely fine when I was shooting it, so that's why I think uh, maybe he just limp-wristed it. Because, I mean, it is it is pretty snappy because it's so light. You know, in a 9 mil, you know, it's, it's not my favorite cartridge. I, you know, I like the 40 or the 45. Um, but a 9 mil is still more than adequate for self-defense, especially with the uh, ammunition that's available today. And uh, so anyway, I picked this thing up, and uh, it shot really good. 
uh, I, like I said, had no malfunctions with it. Um, my buddy did, and like I said, I, th I think it's contributed to, uh, to limp wristing it because you know it does it does have a tendency to want to jump out of your hand when you're shooting it so you know other than that when I first got it I broke it down cleaned it lubed it up and uh, came a little bit dirty from the factory actually you know obviously from test firing but I don't know how many rounds they put through it because uh, it was decently dirty for uh, for just test firing so uh, but anyway so I got it and uh, you know, I like it so far. Like I said, I really like it. it. feels good in the hand. You know, I have big hands. So, you know, my pinky here, uh, you know, it hangs off. Even with the magazine in it, I'm, obviously I'm not going to rack the slide. I get maybe a third of my pinky on it, but still it's adequate enough for me. And uh, it does actually come with uh, this little pinky extension. And you put it on the bottom of the magazine and you could actually get a full purchase. But... I mean, if you're concealing and carrying this, like, it's going to print more. Um, you know, they do give you the little hex wrench Allen key to uh, to put it on there. Um, actually, I think this is to adjust your sights. I think you just got to push down. Yeah, right there. And then the uh, base plate slides off. So they give you that, which is nice because some people, you know, would like that. And, you know, it's not that big of a deal for them uh, concealment-wise or if they're not even going to carry the gun. So that's a nice little option. It also comes with uh, a trigger lock, which, uh, in my opinion, are completely useless. Uh, the main reason, I don't know about you guys, but the main reason I have uh, firearms is for self-defense. You know, defending myself or my family or my loved ones, friends, you know, that are in imminent danger of great bodily harm or death. And that's the only time I would ever even think of pointing a firearm at another human being. But, uh, you couldn't even defend yourself if you had this locked up, let alone on top of that in a safe and then locked up. And so, uh, you know, know your laws of your local ordinances, your towns, you know, when you're transporting, you know, however that goes. But, uh, this to me is just wasting space but you know i keep it in there for whatever reason if i ever did need it i got it it's free you know i'm not gonna hate on it too much but uh that's that and then uh comes with a nice little uh very easy to read owner's manual and uh you know obviously another reason well the same thing with the sky but uh one of the reasons i like the caltech because i was looking at some other things too is uh they are made in the usa so you know owned made parts it's all it's all american and uh i can get behind that idea any day of the week so i like that and uh you know, I've watched some reviews and little tours of the actual Caltech factory on uh, on YouTube. I think Hank Strange uh, was one of them who did it. And, you know, the people seem like real nice, down-to-earth, real people. So, you know, can't complain with that. But, yeah, you know, it's, you know, they give you, it's pretty descriptive, but at the same time, it's not, you know, all jumbled up. It's easy to read. It's easy uh, to understand, you know, what they're trying to get across. So, I mean, I'm I'm a pretty avid shooter um, and firearms enthusiast, I would uh, claim myself to be. So, uh, you know, but it's always good to read the manual. Um, I would suggest it. Most people don't. I usually don't either. But uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, I understood the firearm before, you know, it started malfunctioning on me or, you know, whatever was going on. Uh, so I read through this. I mean, it's only a couple pages. I mean, you can, and most of it's just diagrams. Like you, it's like a picture book. You could get through it real easy. And then the case itself, you know, comes, uh, the little foam padding, none on the top though. But I mean, the gun itself is only like 200 and some odd dollars, but I do like the concept of the case, how, you know, it opens up like that. And, uh, you know, it's small. You obviously would only be able to fit the firearm and, you know, maybe an, an extra mag or two, if you're lucky, probably just one um, extra mag. You know, if you were going to use this to take to the range or to transport or whatever it may be. But, you know, it gets the job done. And it's a case. So I really can't complain. 
But back to the uh, firearm itself. Yeah. Show clear again. Because I did put the mag in. So it is empty. You know, it's not going to go bang, bang. Um, but yeah, I like it. You know, and uh, I'm a big fan of, of OD anything, really. So that's why I got this. These things come in a whole bunch of different color schemes. And you get different colored uh, grips. You could get different colored and finished slides. Um, it's just, it, it, you know, for the money, it's the worst that happens is it breaks and then you use the lifetime warranty and send it to Caltech and then they fix it. And you could literally do that at infinitum. You know, if it keeps breaking, you keep sending it back and they'll either, you know, keep fixing it or eventually probably give you a new one. You know, I don't know exactly how, how it goes cause I haven't had to do that yet. Thank God. But, you know, I haven't had the gun that long either, so. And hopefully I never have to do that. So, like I said, you know, it's been 100% reliable for me. For my buddy, it did uh, double feed one time. And uh, I'm going to attribute that to uh, limp wristing because uh, he's used to bigger, heavier uh, handguns. So, uh, that could have been it. Maybe he wasn't holding on tight enough. But, you know, it's whatever. Uh, nothing is perfect. Anything that's man-made, you know, or mechanical or anything like that, you know, it's, it's a mechanical device, just like they teach you in hunter safety. Like any mechanical, you know, a safety is a mechanical device and it can fail. So, you know, you never want to completely rely on it. Now a Glock, on the other hand, I would, you know, I own, um, a Glock 23 Gen 4 and, uh, it's got the OD slide. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the OD so I figured I'd get the opposite for this one. But that, I mean, Glocks are utterly reliable. That's what their whole business is based off of. And I've put almost a thousand rounds through mine. Had it for a few months and not even so much of it hinting that it would malfunction. So uh, that one should be good for my lifetime and probably the lifetime of my kids. If I ever have any. So, uh, but back to the gun. You know, it's a decent gun. The grip here, as much as you think it would be smooth, it really does bite into your hand, and you could get a nice purchase on it. Um, I was able to shoot this thing accurately up to about 25 yards, and that's because that's how long the range was. It was indoors, and uh, I was getting, I was practicing double taps and, you know, just accuracy. It's a lot easier um, if you stage the trigger to get a nice clean break. Other than that, you know, it's double action. It's like a revolver. So you're going to have a long, heavy pull, and then it breaks towards the back. So if you if you could keep your sight alignment and your sight picture in the right place, you'll be able to hit it regardless. But, you know, I like, at least at the range, I like staging the trigger and uh, seeing what the, I didn't bench rest it or anything, but seeing what the, uh, the accuracy out of it I could get. And I was getting, you know, maybe five-inch groups at uh, 25 yards. I think this is a three, 3.1 inch barrel or something like that. And, you know, with the trigger pull, it's nothing like a Glock. It's nothing like an HK or, you know, anything like that. So that's more than adequate for uh, what this gun is intended for. So it does come with a little, uh, a little rail to mono light or like a crimson trace laser. I think most lights, people were saying most lights for your regular, you know, firearm, whether it be a Glock or, you know, anything else that has a rail, uh, most lights will go on. They'll fit the width of the rail, but they're too big or too long to where it interferes with the trigger guard and you actually won't even be able to snap it in. So I know Crimson Trace does make lasers for this and, you know, that, that whole thing. I'm not really a big fan of lasers, but it could possibly be a good deterrent I mean if if I was a criminal and I'm trying to rob you and you pull this out and I see a red dot on my shirt I'm definitely either immediately turning around or I'm thinking twice before you know I make my next move so you might not even have to fire a shot um, with the laser capability and you know that that'd probably be the best way to go you don't want to be in court for any reason let alone you know shooting somebody even if it is in self-defense and you know rightfully so so uh there's that other than that they really don't make a lot of accessories for these things i think you could buy shims to put under the rear sight which is adjustable for uh for windage um elevation i you'd have to buy the shims and uh 
either raise it. I think this is about as low as it goes, how it's seated right now. But, uh, you know, not too many accessories. You can get a, a plus one base plate for the magazine. So then instead of seven, it holds eight. And uh, it does make the, uh, the grip longer by about probably a centimeter, maybe less than that. And, uh, you know, that is going to print more. And it's almost getting to the point then that, you know, the, the grip is almost as long as, as the slide. And I don't like that on firearms. I think the slide should always be longer than the grip. And uh, that's just personal preference, though. Plus, I mean, one extra round, you know, it, it, to some people it, it might be a big thing. But, you know, to me, I'm not going to spend the 15 16 bucks 16 to, to get that. I'll just buy another mag for 15 16 bucks, and then, you know. But one thing, it is it is a little uh, hard to reload unless you really, uh, you really know what you're doing. Like the magazine, it's a real tight fit. And so, you know, under pressure and you're losing your dexterity, it might be hard. You know, you might be fumbling around with it. But, you know, once it's in there, it goes straight in and uh, it drops clean every time, which is nice. It actually, it, it almost throws it out of there, which I really do like that. Um... The uh, slide release here, uh, well, it's really a slide stop because, I mean, I know a lot of guys like doing this and, you know, letting the slide go home. But, you know, I, even though it may or may not damage your gun, I don't like doing that because, you know, this is uh, fine motor skills. If you're in a situation, this is, you know, a gross motor skill. So, I mean, you could just over the top every time and I think it, uh, you know, it doesn't. It's, you're not abusing the gun as much as just letting it, you know, slam home like that. Especially, you know, if you're not even shooting and you're just playing around with it or something like that. Um, so, yeah, you can't really... It's it's pretty stiff, too. You can't even... I might be able to do it, but, yeah. It, it's pretty stiff. I'm sure it'll loosen up over time, but for the time being, you know, it's it took a lot of force to get that down. So, uh, another thing I wanted to mention uh, about the sights... They have really nice sights on these. I don't know if you could pick that up too well. But they're just your regular uh, three-dot combat sights. Um, and like I said, they are adjustable in the rear for uh, windage. And I don't know how well you can make it out in uh, through the camera, but the uh, front sight is actually bigger than the back rear, than the rear two sights. Uh, two dots the the front dots bigger and I actually like that because when you're looking down the sights it fills them in and it's a lot easier you know to to line them up um, about as perfectly as you can so it's almost like the uh, the big dot um, combat sights you know it's it's for CQB and that kind of thing quick uh, target alignment acquisition and uh, it's kind of got that feel to it. It's, it's definitely not as big as the big dots, but it's definitely bigger than the uh, the two rear dots here. So it, it does line up quite nicely. And like I said, I was getting pretty decent groups for this gun itself and how small it is and the trigger out to 25 yards. And I mean, that's 75 feet. So, I mean, if you're that far away from someone, unless they have a firearm yourself, you should just be running. But, uh, you know, yeah, I was impressed with it. And like I said, it, it's been completely reliable for me. Had that one little bobble with my buddy. And everybody says kel need a break-in period. Other people say they've never had a problem with it. Some people say they're junk and they, they won't even use it as a paperweight. So I don't know. I guess uh, only time will tell and the amount of uh, rounds I'm going to put through it. But so far, I'm happy. You know, I got this off cheaper than dirt. I think it was like $230, no shipping, no tax, and then uh, I got a private FFL dealer that does not charge me full price at all, so uh, out the door, this was well under $300, and uh, I can't complain, you know, if it ever did, you know, break or got scratched up or, you know, whatever, something happened, you know, I'm not going to cry about it, it's just a little beater gun, it's there for me, uh, I usually do keep this on me at all times. Uh, just because it's it's so slim, and uh, you can see how slim that is. The grip and the slide itself, and you know, the only thing that really protrudes is the uh, the slide stop, and that even isn't that bad at all. So you know, it it it's easy to carry. You know, the first rule of a gunfight is have a gun. 
So if your gun's too bulky, too heavy, you don't carry it as often as you should or end up not carrying it at all, then what good does that do you? So, you know, at least this, even if I get a round off, that's one more round of than, you know, other than not having a gun. So I'm fine with that. I'm going to keep testing it. Um, I know I was going to, I said I was going to show you guys some targets, um, of the accuracy, but I actually don't have those on me. I think I left them in my buddy's car, but, uh, later on down the road, I will, uh, do an update on this to let you guys know how it's running because I, I don't want to recommend it. Um, if it's, if it's, you know, a piece of garbage. So, uh, I'll let you guys know how, uh, it keeps running. But as of right now, I would say at least try it out. If you got a couple extra, you know, hundred dollars laying around and you're looking for a carry gun or you're looking for, you know, just a little, a little beater, just something to have you could leave in your car or something like that. You know, I would not hesitate to recommend that. But uh, as far as reliability, you know, it's got a track record, but, uh, hopefully we can disprove that with this one here. So, uh, in review, you know, I'm happy with it. I would, uh, recommend somebody to at least try it out or, you know, give it a little, uh, a little thought, you know, look at your other options. But for this price range, I mean, there's not much else. I mean, you, you could get this, you could get a sky or, you know, you could get some junk and, you know, most people say this is junk or a sky is junk just because it's not four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. You know, I, I'm a Glock guy. I have a Glock. I love that thing to death. And, you know, if I could only have one gun in the world, that would be it. But, uh, you know, I, I have this now. I like it. We'll see uh, how it keeps running. And I'll let you guys know later. But for now, it's the uh, Caltech PF9. You know, there's the case and uh, everything it comes with. And uh, check it out. Watch some reviews. Hopefully you watch this one all the way through. I hope uh gave you guys a little bit of information. And, uh, you know, my opinion, obviously, this is just uh, my opinion from my experience with the firearm. And as of right now, it, it's still kind of minimal. You know, it's it's got less than 200 rounds through it, and uh, I haven't had it that long. But I can tell you one thing. It carries really nice. You know, it's always there. And I can't tell you, you know, in the past couple of months I've had it, how many times uh, I forgot I had it on. And, you know, that's a good thing because... You know, you don't want to have some big chunky piece of metal or whatever, you know, dig it into you or, you know, when you sit down or whatever. And this thing does not print at all. Um, I'm not the skinniest. I'm not the fattest. But uh, this over a regular T-shirt, you know, or even a tighter T-shirt does not print at all. You have if you carry it in the right spot. Nobody will know this is there. You might not even know it's there because it's so light and it's so thin. So I don't know. That's my take on that. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope it was uh, informative enough for you. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.